All right, guys, welcome to the next video in my Mandela Effect shortlist. If you're not familiar with this list, all the shortlist means is each video is fairly short. It's not a full, huge, long, you know, show that's a few hours long. And I focus on one Mandela Effect. I break it down. I show the residue. I give you my take on it. And I get you out of here quickly. Okay. Uh, after you've done this, I'll leave a link. Um an overlay that pops up on the video to bring you to my short list and I'll leave a link below. Check out my other Mandela effect short videos. Okay. This one, uh, it was actually brought to my attention today, uh, by Nathan Sanders. He posted it on his Facebook page. I hadn't heard of this change yet. I do not know if it's a brand new change. It's brand new to me. Uh, somebody may have covered this in the past. I do not know. I'm not trying to take credit for it and, uh, just giving you my take on the change. I'm going to go into a screen share real quick and show you guys exactly what it is. Full screen share right here. Okay. And let's get over to my Google window. So when I grew up around me uh, in, in the town next, next, next town over in the Chumsford Mall uh, was a store at one point. It wasn't there for my whole childhood, but it was called Tom McCann Shoes, as you see right here. T-H-O-M. I'll zoom in a little more so you can see. T-H-O-M space M-C-A-N-N -N is how it was spelled in my reality. But now, if you search it, you will get spell checked to Tom McCann with one N. No, that is just completely wrong. It was Tom McCann with two Ns. And if you look up the person who it's named after, Thomas McCann, actually his name has not changed yet. His name is still, at this point, McCann with two N's. Why is his company the McCann with one N? Um, I know it was two N's. I remember seeing the storefront very often, the ads in the newspaper and whatnot. But let's just continue and we'll get right on with the residue. So again, if you're not getting it, Tom McCann is now Tom McCann like this with one N. Let's look at some residue. Okay, the great sounds of swinging Tom from Tom McCann Shoes. Who's ever selling this CD of whatever's on this CD? has it spelled with two N's the way we remember it. It's two N's in the URL, as that often uh, has tons of residue because the URLs don't change usually. Um, you know, unless the, the the company actually, you know, rebrands it or whatever to catch up. Uh, also, you'll notice, even though he spelt it with two N's here, two N's in the URL, well, as we always see, the official imagery, the official, whatever you would call the signature of Tom McCann, uh, the company, only has one N even though he's typing it with two. Okay, he, he's got it right in front of him. What's happening here? Okay, you'll see right here, the Hoboken Fire Department. There was a fire at a Tom McCann factory. And the Hoboken Fire Department, I believe that's in Connecticut. I'm not sure. I, I was looking at it a little bit. Uh, they remember Tom McCann with two ends. Okay, I'll just pause that video so it doesn't keep playing. Next. Now, this is a good one, okay? Uh, post tagged Tom McCann shoe store, Tom McCann, two N's, clearly one N on the storefront sign here, storefront sign, one N, as we know, uh, usually all the official signs will change. There have been very few exceptions, but you know, basically all the official signs will change. Well, if it's always been McCann with one N, why are people that are doing these elaborate write-ups on it, all spelling it with two, Tom McCann. Okay. Is there more down here? And right here on the floor, it's Tom McCann with one N. But again, they're spelling it with two. Tom McCann. Because it was Tom McCann with two. It was Tom McCann with two. Just like this. Just like you see here. That's how it was in my memory. That's how it was in my reality, if you will. I believe we are still in one reality. Uh, and the reality is constantly in flux. So we'll save theories for another show. This is from the next door site. Uh, somebody selling Tom McCann boots. Men. Men's Tom McCann, McCann, again, with two N's, the way I remember. McCann, with two N's, again, the way as I remember. Okay, continue. This is a good one. 1934, Boston Braves, Tom McCann, advertising calendar. McCann, two N's, just the way as all us so-called crazy Mandela people remember. The URL, two N's, exactly the way as all us crazy Mandela people that you say have no evidence Remember, and if you scroll down right here to the actual calendar, it has the residue still on it. Tom McCann shoe with two N's. Tom McCann shoe with two N's. 
just like the Mandela people are telling you it is, or as we're starting to tell you if this is a new effect indeed. I'm not, I'm not sure. It could be a couple of years old. See, there's so many changes, it's impossible to even keep up. But hey, we'll continue. Tom McCann, uh, this is on eBay. Now, there's tons of these. I could sit here all day and do an eBay or Pinterest video. I try to stay away from doing too many of those posts. It just gets so, but it's so much residue. Everybody that's selling them, not everybody, but most people will remember Tom McCann. Two ends, just like you see in the URL again. McCann, two ends. Continue. Okay, remember these Northline Mall stores from Houston's past? Well, let's see. Do they have a Tom McCann? Oh, and they do. So uh, this Houston Mall remembers Tom McCann with two N's. I guess everybody just decided to put an extra N on this thing, huh? Yeah, give me a break. Greenville News. Let's see. McCann, what do we have? Right here. Okay. Located in downtown, they included Pets Galore, the Eleanor Shop, Cress, Patton Tillman Bruce, and Tom McCann Shoes. McCann. With two ends but again you'll say there is no mandela effect and we have no evidence and it's all just false memory come on man give me a break okay let's see what else we have here uh McCann. okay right here okay 1955 oh it scrolled on me 1955 fanny farmer barbershop house of beauty salon and tom mccann inside the valley fair shopping center right here tom mccann two ends the way i remember the way so many remember the way all these media outlets around the world seem to remember and i'll show you books i'll show you advertisements i'll show you videos we'll keep pouring on the proof okay mccann what do we got oh list of stores right here okay Shoes, Baker Shoes, Boot Shop, Bootery, Bostonian, Hanover Shoe, Kinney Shoes, and Tom McCann, all located at the South Plains Mall. Well, I went to the South Plains Mall, buddy. I couldn't find your Tom McCann store. <laughs> you have like a generic knockoff with only one end. What's that all about? I'm not going to spend my money there. Gridiron Greats. Uh, oh, this might not be residue acts. This shows you that there's like a Tom McCann award, but... If his name hasn't changed, you know, that doesn't matter. But here he is, Tom McCann with two N's. Okay. Okay, Hamilton Barber reflects on 50 years behind the chair. What's he reflecting on? What is he working there? Tom McCann with two N's. The anchor stores in the strip at the time were W.T. Grant. Mills still has a small jar of black paint with the Grant label on it. And Woolworths, along with Tom McCann shoes. McCann, two N's. Must be falling for the Brian Stavely psyop, huh? Yeah. That's what the deniers will say. They sound ridiculous, though. You know that. They sound as ridiculous as... Uh, I'll, I'll address that later. Okay, McCann, what do we have here? I think it was just something in a comment section. If I don't find it quick, we'll just scroll past because they got so much residue, I need to stick on one. All right, over here. Facebook watch. What is this? Refresh, please. Well, that's refreshing. We'll bounce on. Okay, a story of shoes. Tom McCann shoe stores, as you see, obviously two ends, as we're told, never existed. And the Mandela effect people are all just stupid and crazy, and we don't do research. Yeah, okay. And this is a whole long, drawn out history. Now, there's no audio to this, but it's interesting that you know somebody would cover them actually making Tom McCann shoes at the factory, release a 25 minute documentary, if you will, on it, and they don't know how to spell it. I mean, really? Let's continue. Oh, that thing's got to play over me. It has, okay, let's see. What is this? Footstar to launch three new catalogs. Ooh, is it going to be a Tom McCann? Oh, and it is. Footstar will develop three new catalogs for its Tom McCann, Foot Action, and Just for Feet brands. Tom McCann with two N's. Again, again. <laughs> Now, you'll find if you go and look up newer articles, you will find a lot more spelling the new way as people have taken the update. Okay, what is this? Uh, McCann. Okay, this guy won the 1984 Tom McCann Award, something we showed earlier. McCann with two N's. But again, if his name hasn't changed and just the company has, that that's kind of irrelevant, but I will just show it, you know, because it came up. Okay, Facebook Watch. We're going to skip that because those are taking forever to load. 
Okay, Tom McCann Land Rover. Another Tom McCann commercial. Land Rover, only a Tom McCann. Now you can see right on the screen the Tom McCann yeah. ad the sign. Rover. You'll see only a Tom McCann. The sign has one end. Why the hell would they title this with two? I mean, what is the problem here? Well, they titled it with two because they're sure that's what it was. That's what it always was. They've probably seen that one end thing and were like, eh, didn't really, you know, they're not thinking Mandela effect or whatever, but it's just, eh, look at that. Eh, eh, look at that. Books. Tom McCann shoes. Okay. Now, this some of these books that come from court documents, which I always love to show court documents because people say, oh, it's just spelling mistakes. and blah, blah, blah. Tom McCann shoes with two ends. This is uh, Washington Street, whatever, must be a mall or something. Uh, comparison of Dunn and Broad Street coverage with locally provided street census, Boston, 1977. So the street census, Boston, 1977, fallen for Brian Stavely. Sigh up, apparently. This comes from tax incentives targeted to distressed areas, uh, written in 1983, November 17th, 1983, Congress first session, House of Representatives. Pretty official. Pretty weird that they'd fall for my sigh up back in 1983 in the U.S. Congress. Okay. Right over here, Mr. Valentine, I used to get my shoes from you with the Tom McCann, from Tom McCann 55 years ago. Once a year for going to school, you would get a new pair of Tom McCann shoes. I remember them fondly to this day. Well, I would have to challenge your memory because apparently you've never remembered Tom McCann with two ends. And we're all just stupid, people will say. We know who the stupid ones are, though. This comes from unemployment compensation, burden on jobless. A hearing before the Subcommittee on Social Security and Family Policy of the Committee on Finance, United States Senate, 102nd Congress, first session, New York, New York, June 24th, 1991. Thank you for falling for the Mandela Sire. Okay, over here at the Electrolux vacuum cleaner, salesman for food broiler, broker, selling to supermarkets 1960 to the beginning of 1962, and salesman for who? Tom McCann shoes. Tom McCann, two ends, and this comes from the Communist Party Youth Program. Documents on the Subversive Activities Control Board on Advanced and Burning Issues, Youth Organizations, Center for Marxist Education and Young Workers, Liberation League, 1974. Must be fallen for the Brian Stavely Sire before I even came out of my mother's womb. Continue. Deniers. <laughs> right here again, Tom McCann's shoes, two ends, and what is this book? This is a participation of small business and foreign trade and foreign aid hearings before subcommittee number three of 86-1 pursuant to House Resolution 51 by the United States Congress House Select Committee on Small Business, 1959, just a year after my parents were born. Apparently, the Congress and the House of Representatives has fallen for the Brian Stavely Psyop, I guess. Because, you know, we again, we don't have any proof. You know, I mean, they just must all be going off my mismemory or, or, or a bad parody. The deniers will say. Finally, last but not least, I was spotless as my Tom McCann shoes. Tom McCann, two ends from Shaboom, the explosion of rock and roll, 1953 through 1968 by Clay Cole, 2009. Read it and weep, boys. There you go. I'm going to get you out of here real quick today. Just wanted to give you a quick residue video. So if you're missing the point of what just happened here, I will put a banner on the screen real quick and spell it out for you. Tom McCann is now Tom McCann with one N. I put it on the screen. And that is your Mandela effect change today. Left side is what I remember. The right side is what it is now. I will probably be back uh, later with another short video. I wanna do a video addressing a few uh, other topics. Uh, so you might see another video pop up, but thank you guys. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to keep this short. I'll link my Mandela effect short list. So it overlays at the end of this video. Just click it. It'll take you right there. It'll also be linked in the show notes. If you just go to my main channel on YouTube, it's the first playlist displaying uh, Mandela effect short list reloaded. I had to re-upload a bunch of them because all my old videos are private. Yada, yada, yada. Just remember, even if this doesn't affect you or certain ones don't affect you, you all know inside a ton of them do. And I keep proving it every day that you are all affected. I will continue to do so. And I will not let people deny these supernatural changes.